steps involved in creation of paste resistant plant this is continuation of biological sorry biotechnological application in agriculture this is actually part 2 biotechnological application in agriculture part 2 in this i'll discuss steps involved in creation of paste resistant plants previously i explained what is paste then what is RNA interference, how RNA interference is used in, uh, in creation of pest resistant plants that I will discuss now. First step, agrobacterium vectors, agrobacterium vectors are used to intro Introduce, introduce dub, uh, introduce DNA, introduce DNA, which can produce both sense and anti sense RNA of mRNA present inside the host so the uh, dna which is carried by agrobacterium vector produces both sense and antisense rna these sense and antisense rna they uh, bind together to form double stranded rna which in turn binds with mrna so next step sense anti Antisense and sense RNA binds together to form double stranded RNA, which in turn binds with mRNA of the host cell. That is nematode nematode causing disease in plant so here host means the paste okay and the name of that paste is me meliodegyne incognitia that infects roots of tobacco plants i repeat Melio deg degyne incognitia that is the host here host means nematode then third point as a result mRNA cannot synthesize protein that is protein synthesis or translation leading to death of nematode in side transgenic plant now what is transgenic plant a plant carrying um, uh, ca carrying genetic material from different source that here it is uh, carrying uh, DNA f uh, carried by agrobacterium so the that is carrying genetic material from different source genetic material from different source now coming to biotechnological applications in medicine that's the next uh, role of biotechnology basically three mainly three main applications mainly three main applications are
first one gene therapy gene therapy second one genetically production of production of genetically modified insulin and third one in molecular diagnosis we'll discuss all these step by step first one we'll discuss gene therapy so what is gene therapy gene therapy is collection of techniques in modification or correction in correction of any genetic disorder so it basically basically gene therapy does correction in the gene or you can say in the base sequence or um, uh, it changes uh, any mutation in other words gene therapy is collection of methods that allows correction of a gene defect that has been diagnosed in a in a child or embryo now why gene therapy is done in case of child but mostly in embryo because if we try to do any correction in uh, the adult correction of any genetic disorder or gene defect it 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 won't be, it will be wasted or um money will be wasted but it won't have the effect we want because we have to do the correction in each and ev every individual gene present in each and every individual cell of um, of an of an adult which is almost impossible but if the gene defect is corrected in uh, an embryo then uh, it can be a permanent cure that's why gene therapy is uh, very useful now coming to steps of gene therapy first we must know what is the first uh, when gene therapy is first um, used it is used in 1904 gene therapy is used in 1990 on a 4 year old girl suffering from adenosine deaminase deficiency first done in 1990 first done or applied on a four years old girl girl suffering suffering from adenosine adenosine deaminase deficiency d deficiency also called ada now what is the role of adenosine uh, deaminase it is important uh, in uh, proper functioning of immune system so what is the role just a moment important in proper functioning of immune system that is the uh, defense mechanism of our body to protect us against diseases or infection now steps first step is mm, what is the first step lymphocytes from the bloods of the patient are grown in a culture outside the body 
the lymphocytes are grown outside the body lymphocytes from blood of a patient uh, are grown in uh, culture outside um, the body that's the first step second step is cdna that is complementary dna using retrovirus is produced cdna um, uh, of that um, a functional cdna is then introduced in these lymphocytes so first step the lymphocytes from the blood uh, blood is isolated and it is uh, cultured means it is reproduced in vitro that is in laboratories second a functional cdna a functional cdna that is complementary dna using retrovirus using retro virus is introduced in these lymphocytes which are grown in laboratory now why retrovirus is used because retroviruses have the enzyme reverse transcriptase reverse transcriptase i repeat which can synthesize complementary dna from mrna or rna okay let me write in bracket so reason to use retrovirus have reverse transcriptase which can synthesize complementary dna that is cdna from rna that is the genetic material in retroviruses now next step these lymphocytes carrying cdna returned inside the patient and this step is uh means periodic infusion of such genetically engineered lymphocyte is continued then these lymphocytes carrying uh cdna cdna are returned inside the patient and fourth step you can say as these cells are not immortal then that, that is why periodic infusion of a uh, uh, such genetically engineered lymphocytes are continued that's the fourth step